Okay, so let's get into our first section of discussion of laws. And this would be laws 53 to 58, leads out of turn. We're gonna talk about leads with regarding to opening during play and then declares lead from the wrong hand. So here's our situation. The contract is two hearts in the north. So we are expecting east to lead and west leads the five of spades. Okay. So we have an opening lead out of turn. This is where we're gonna say you have five options, okay? And when you give these five options, you can give them in any order that you like. It doesn't have to be exactly as it is presented here. It needs to be something that you become comfortable with in what we call our director patter, because if you're interrupted or somebody stops, you can kind of fall right back in. And as you're in the habit of saying it the same way. So our five options are, you can accept the lead and become the dummy. You can accept the lead and see the dummy before you play the hand, play next from your hand. You can require the lead of a spade from the proper defender. You can prohibit the lead of a spade from the defender, from the proper defender, as long as they hold the lead. Either one of these choices to require or to prohibit, that card is gonna go back in their hand and they can play any spade or you can allow the proper defender to delete anything they'd like. And this card is going to be left on the table, the five of spades as a major penalty card. Okay. Leads out of turn during play law 55 talks about if the declarer is leading from their hand or their dummy, either defender may accept the lead. If not, the, de the declarer may lead what he likes from the correct hand. So you may get called to the table and they'll say, um, he called for a card from dummy and he's in his hand. So what I would say is, okay, well, if either of you, um, would, east or west, let's say um, it's north, south, it's the offending side. If either of you, east or west, would like to accept this lead now from the dummy, you may, and if not, uh, we're going to allow him to just continue leading from his hand. And I stand there for a moment. And if they don't say anything, then I just say, okay, we'll go ahead and continue leading from your hand. What the law does say that if they both, they're not allowed to discuss what it is, the decision, whether they want to accept the lead from the dummy. But if they both speak out and one says, I'll accept it. And the other says, I don't accept it. The one who has uh, the right to, to determine now is the one who's next in rotation from the, the call from the wrong hand. So the person to the right of the dummy would be the decision that you would honor. Leads out of turn during play, if by a defender when the lead is in their hand or the dummy, I'm sorry, uh, this allow, the, oh, I'm sorry. If by the defender, the declarer may accept that lead um, or they may continue to lead from their hand or the dummy and just leave that card as a major penalty card. So if their partner then gains the lead, which is what you need to tell them, if your partner gains the lead prior to that card being played at its first opportunity, you're going to um, have lead restrictions available for the declarer. So leads out of turn during the play if by the defender when the other defender is on lead. So this goes back to just like an opening lead out of turn. The defender can accept this lead. They can require the lead of that suit from the proper defender. They can prohibit the lead of that suit. And again, if they exercise the right of requiring or forbidding, that card goes back in their hand and the offender can play any card or they can allow the proper defender to delete whatever they like. That card will stay on the table, again, as a major penalty card. Other lead issues, simultaneous plays from one player. So if one card is visible, if I'm, take, if I'm playing and I have a couple of cards, one stuck, the one card that is visible, that's the played card, the other card would be restored to my hand. If multiple cards are visible, uh, I would designate the card that I intended to play and the other ones will become major penalty cards. And then there are simultaneous plays from two players. 
um, if one pl play is legal and the other is not, the illegal play is deemed to be subsequent to the legal play. And the way we determine simultaneous plays is um, it's not like the card game war where you used to go one, two, three, and everybody turned over at the same time. Um, sometimes a player is in the pro it has played and the other one is in the process of going toward the table and not really paying attention to the fact that someone else has played. And so um, there was no time for them to make a change in their place. So that would still be simultaneous um, unless this is, if in the case where it is a person who, um, let's say I won the trick and I'm declaring and I'm just thinking about what I'm gonna play and this person on my right, I don't notice leads out of turn and I'm playing. This was not an, an acceptance of this person's play. This was, my taking my legal turn to play. And so we would deal with that differently. Incorrect uh, lead skill sets you're going to use. Whose lead was it? Uh, has it already been condoned? Sometimes you'll get called to the table and they'll say, um, they'll, this person uh, led out of their hand and they were really on the dummy, but they already have a card in front of them. They've played to the trick. So we're just finished here. Once they play to the trick, it's already been accepted. Differ the differentiating between pointing out an irregularity and exercising an option. So this has to do with um, if the declarer leads from their hand and they were on the dummy, and I say, you were on the dummy, this is not exercising my option that I want them to lead from the dummy. I'm just pointing out the fact that there was an irregularity and now we need to call the director. So it's not that I'm making the decision now, I haven't forfeited nor has my partner, our right to accept this lead from their hand. Parsing out the rule and understandable parts. And then talking to the person who will make the decision so that he understands that it is his choice alone. In, in particular with leads out of turn, um, having the declarer or the presumed declarer look at you, maintain eye contact with you rather than drifting toward their partner to try to determine uh, if they should become the dummy or if they should play the hand, um, that kind of thing. And then making sure all the players understand the choices at hand. And remaining until all aspects of the ruling are taken care of.